been battling our weed of the week for a long time, Brian. It is buck brush. Well, yes, but buck brush, you absolutely can control it. Let me give you uh, the old timers method with this. The guys who just want to use 2,4-D, throw a quart of crop oil with your 2,4-D. That usually helps on buck brush, but buck brush is a woody species and it's a perennial. So if you want to permanently eliminate it, that's where I would tend to lean toward Tordon or there's some people that like chaparral. Well, you've got a product in, in Tordon, especially, that's going to move down into the root system well. And this is something 240 isn't doing. You're just frying off everything on the top. Uh, and that's okay well, for now, it, yeah. it doesn't solve it. You know, yes, but here's the trouble. If you're in a shelter belt, you can't permanently eliminate buckbrush with one pass unless you're going to kill the trees around there because Tordon, Chaparral, it's probably going to kill your trees and your shelter belt. That's why you might want to go with this 2,4-D plus crop oil method. Well, if you have to go 2,4-D, I'd strongly recommend Freelex, especially if you're anywhere as close yep. to trees so you don't have any of that volatility that you deal with with the amines and the esters. This is not usually a big problem out in crop ground. If you just simply raise a good crop, that generally speaking chokes it out. So hopefully buckbrush isn't a problem on your farm. If it is, again, 2,4-D or go to Tordana Chaparral. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.